Now over to the 24th where Kenny Marchant is retiring. A group of Republicans headlined by former Irving Mayor Beth Van Dyne. She spoke to supporters early after the early numbers came in. Is you've seen a unified Republican vote come yes. out. Yes. And it has been unified and it has been strong. People are sick of the attack style politics that they see right now. They want somebody in Congress who's going to fight for them and fight for their best interests. As seven Democrats fighting for their party's nomination for the 24th top two, you see them here at least for the moment. Kim Olson, right now with 20 or 36 rather percent of the vote. Candace Valenzuela, 35 percent. So a very tight race with just one percent of the precincts reporting there. But now it's time, I think, to unite the party against one leader that shows she has the best viability to take this district to go from red to blue, because that's the focus now, is order to win in November. I'm looking forward to, to telling our, our story to the community because it resonates. And when we have the din of the presidential campaign kind of a little bit in the past, a little bit in the distance, we'll have a greater chance to reach out to the community, and it's going to be great. Well, what a race that's turning out to be tonight. Less than 100 votes separating that one at the moment.